Day number 3 of Fort Week. Today we're doing the Majorette Ford Escort Exorcery Eye. And we're doing it really quickly. Yes, this is going to be a really quick and fun video just to show you the basics, the absolute basics of a customization slash restoration. So as you can see, the paint is in terrible shape, the stickers are missing, the window is scratched up, and it's, it leaves me. Oh, there it is, it's back. I, I really thought it was going to leave me because I didn't want to get restored slash customized. So, like every Majorat ever made in this period of time, the wheels are horrible. They stick out a million miles out of the base. Uh, there is no wear glass, I think that's from the factory, so... And that, there it is, the wheels are... it's horrible, the axles are too long. It's not fun. So first, let's drill out the rivet and see what this model has to give inside. Now I use my immense force to rip apart this model, you can see it in a bit. There I go. This is everything I got. And I was freaking out because I always broke. I see there, there it is. Strong man I am. So there is a strange spring system that I don't quite understand. So let's fix that so I can take it apart in a couple seconds. Just like that. So let's quickly fix that. Awesome, I fixed it. And then we have the red interior. We have the steering wheel and the front grille. And we have the glass that just falls out. I was going to take out the little uh, trunk, but it's held in by metal tabs, thingy magic, and it's not meant to come out, I think. So, first step, well, that's taking apart. Next step is taking out the wheel, so I just pull off that strange little spring. And the wheels just come off with it. Look, magic. So, the next step of my restoration slash customization is going to be getting the paint off. So, using my usual amount of paint stripper, I just destroy the front decal. Hmm, pretty awesome. So, this takes around 30 minutes to 1 hour. actually left it for 2 hours this time in a closed container. Also, don't forget to do the inside, because it's important. Because of reasons. So after two hours, I take my toothbrush and start getting off the paint. And as you can see, the paint isn't really coming off that nicely. It was in a closed container for about two hours. So I just decided to do it again. So after realizing the paint wasn't really coming off, I just applied another light coat of paint stripper, left it another hour and the paint just fell off. After that, I took my mom's pajama pants to take off the remaining paint stripper and loose paint. And again, my piece of scotch bite to take out every paint that was stuck on the model and to get any corrosion and imperfections of the body. So for primer, I'm using a fine surface primer by Tamiya, just shake up the can, and applying three coats of primer. It's day three, three coats of primer. No, it, it, the primer didn't really go on all that well. So I decided to do three coats. Now the hardest part of this restoration slash customization is opening the hood to get paint on the underside of the spoiler and the trunk. But it worked. So while that dried, I just applied a coat of primer to the interior because it's not staying red. You will see in a bit what color I'm deciding to paint it. No, the failed color. Yes, I failed the first time. I wanted to try a really dark red and it turned out brown. So, while the failed color dried, I gave my interior a black coat, and there is the beautiful looking brown. It's horrible. So, I quickly repainted it in a more, well, not poop looking red. That took four coats. Now, some would, would call me foolish to paint red taillights on a red car. But I liked doing it anyway. And next I just do the side markers. They're supposed to be orange, but I wanted to make them yellow because I'm different. So after applying two clear coat coats, well that's a difficult word, I uh, just started reassembling. 
Also, I left it just to bake overnight in my little paint boot that isn't really a paint boot. And I also gave the, uh, what's called, the glass a polish off camera. You've seen it a million times. I'm not the best at polishing. And I got some new wheels. These are actually of a Tesla Model X, I think it was. I just have a huge bin of spare wheels. Now, as you can see, the axles are a bit too long. And actually, after I shot this part of the video, I went back. Uh, took the model apart again and shortened the axles. I didn't really think it was going to bug me as much as it does. And I know I'm putting in the spring a little bit wrong, but ignore that. So just know that after video, you will see it in the final reveal that the axles are just uh, the right size. So let's put in the steering wheel dashboard. No, that's don't do it first, the glass glass first then the steering wheel a dashboard and front bumper then I just really struggle by getting the interior in place so I decided just to um, well yes I decided just to cut this bit a little bit short <laughs> and when the interior is in I finally get to plump in the base and I just decided to glue this one into place so I can always take it apart. I my tap I, I lost my tap to be honest. So I would like to screw the base in place, but I again I lost my tap. Yes, I'm not the most uh, organized person, let's call. So I used my bison glue and just glue the model to the base. So that's completed. Let's take a look at it uh, before. And let's take a look at it after. It's not the best restoration, but it's a nice and quick one. So please leave a like, subscribe, and hope to see you in day four. Bye.